One of the great pro wrestling families that has produced many skilled wrestlers for the business is the Anawaii family. The family has produced some of the most successful wrestlers in the industry, including The Rock, Rikishi, Umaga, Roman Reigns, and The Usos. Young wrestlers from the family such as Solo Sequoia and Jacob Fatu are currently establishing their own names. Fans automatically assume that any wrestler of Samoan descent is a member of the Anawaii family whenever they see them. Such has been the bloodline's historical influence over time. However, there are many Samoan wrestlers who are not members of the Anawaii family. I'm Cleve and Mark from WBP TV, and these are Samoan wrestlers that's not in the Anawaii family. Please don't forget to leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and push that notification bell to stay up to date. Now, without further ado, let's cue that intro. I'm a visionary, revolutionary. I'm a visionary, revolutionary. Rika Tihaka, the most recent addition to the Samoan lineage wrestlers is first on the list. Tehaka has only recently begun her career in professional wrestling. She has also made a number of appearances for All Elite Wrestling. Prior to joining AEW, she competed in Ohio Valley Wrestling and made her professional wrestling debut at a Respect Women's Wrestling event in February 2020. She has participated in a number of episodes of Dark and Dark Elevation. Her most recent outing was in January 2022. We can anticipate seeing her establish a reputation for herself in the industry as she continues to compete on the independent circuit. Mortar, a professional wrestler from Australia of Samoan descent, is one of the newest members to this list at the age of 26. She has been working in the industry for more than six years and in February 2016, she made her ring debut at a new age wrestling event. She has a solid reputation in the independent circuit, but hasn't yet made it to the major leagues. She has so far held three titles, including three women's belts in New Age Wrestling and one each in the women's division of Hunter Valley Wrestling and Battle Championship Wrestling. Between 1985 and 1989, the late Emily Doe competed as Mountain Fiji. She has expertise in the square circle as well as being a track and field athlete and an actress. She made her professional wrestling debut in the ring for the Gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling promotion in 1985 and has only ever lost once while competing for them. She won a sumo fight in November 1991 during which she faced off against a wrestler by the moniker of Big Bad Mama. Due to the fact that her parents were of Samoan, Polish, Chinese, German, and Irish ethnicity, former NXT superstar Vanessa Bourne also has some Samoan ancestry. The actress slash wrestler does have a connection to Samoa, albeit her family history is rather convoluted. After finishing her training at Rikishi and Gangrel's Knox Crow Academy, the 34-year-old wrestler made her pro wrestling debut in March 2016. The following year, she discovered WWE and reported to the Performance Center before making her NXT debut. She took part in a 2017 Mae Young Classic competition as well. However, she was defeated by Serena Deeb in the opening round. Her tenure with WWE didn't continue long, though, as she was fired in May 2021. Her final appearance for AEW came in a match against Britt Baker in the opening round of the Owen Hart Cup competition. She has had three appearances for other promotions. Legendary Samoan wrestler Siva Afi performed extensively in several promotions between 1975 and 1997 prior to joining New Japan Pro Wrestling in August of 1985. He spent most of his early career competing in NWA events. He made his WWE debut in January 1986 and battled with the promotion until July 1988 when he left to become Burt Reynolds' stunt devil and bodyguard. Three years later, in 1991, he returned to the Square Circle and performed there until his retirement in 1997.
Between 1976 and 1977, the late Coco Samoa, a great Samoan wrestler, dominated the square circle. He has held titles in the NWA Pacific Northwest Heavyweight, NWA Mid-America Heavyweight, and AWA Southern Heavyweight divisions. Throughout his career, he participated in a number of promotions while wrestling for a majority of his matches for the NWA. In 1988, he also made a few appearances for WWE. Although he struggled to earn a regular position there, Jimmy Snuka, a member of the WWE Hall of Fame, referred to him as his brother, and the two of them were close friends. The following wrestler on the list is Sonny Siaki, who participated in the sport between 1999 and 2009 for over a decade. He began competing for WCW in the ring in October 1999, and he remained there through March 2000. He then joined TNA as one of his first members in 2002 and competed there until 2006. He later participated in a WWE tryout and was placed in the developing region of Deep South Wrestling. Before really signing a contract with the business, he had previously participated in a number of dark bouts for them. However, his WWE career stalled and in 2007, he was let go by the promotion. Dakota Kai, who is now the WWE Women's Tag Team Champion, is also of Samoan ancestry because her mother is from Lapia, a Samoan hamlet on the island of Upolu. She was born and raised in New Zealand, but she never forgot her Samoan roots. To honor them, she created her current ring name, Kai, which in Polynesian means sea. After making her WWE debut in 2007, Dakota Kai made her way up the independent circuit to where she is now. With her current alliance with Bailey and EO Sky, we can anticipate Dakota Kai to soar in the WWE. As implied by his moniker, the Samoan Submission Machine, one of the most successful Samoan wrestlers who is not related to the Anawaii family, is Samoa Joe. At the age of 20, Joe made his professional wrestling debut in December 1999. He rose through the independent ranks until becoming well known in Impact Wrestling. Before landing at All Elite Wrestling, he has wrestled for companies such as Ring of Honor, Pro Wrestling Guerrilla, AAA, and WWE. Samoa Joe has received several honors throughout the years, including world titles in Impact Wrestling, NXT, and Ring of Honor. He is currently the Ring of Honor television champion. That's it, everyone. Let us know in the comments what you think about this video. Please don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and push that notification bell for daily wrestling videos. Once again, I'm KB The Mark, signing off. Until the next one. I started with nothing and came out of king. Came out of king. Yeah. I've been the one that's been ballin' for rings. I've been the one that's been ballin' for rings. It's been me and my team and we chasing the green. Me and the team and we chasing the green. My team be the shit, we ain't ballin' for free. Ballin' for free. Yeah. My team be the shit, we ain't ballin' for free.